So there's lighting that shines on the front of that fabric. You can turn that lighting off and you can sh turn on lights behind the fabric and the sense of that wall completely changes. We're looking for recycled content. We were looking for renewable materials. Uh, but one of the key things here was to use local wood products. Wood was a, a, a requirement for this building because BC is wood. That's why we use the, the, uh, the wood, the glue laminated timbers in the ceiling um, inside the building and also brought it outside so that it's basically a continuation of that same expression. We have uh, different types of metal with aluminum etc that are from BC and one of the design inspirations that came up was about a stack of lumber. This is actually a, a panelized system that you see here and it, it comes across reading as kind of one large wall surface. Um, a lot of the seed that we're using up on the roof is never commercially available so we're finding local seed collectors. We've also got a number of uh, uh, four different kinds of bulbs. Um, some of them are, uh, they're all native. Some of them have been used by the First Nations. The entire glass uh, surrounding the envelope uh, is very unique. Some of the aspects, because it is so large, the traffic, the wayfinding and the planning process was important. So all those things um, were thought of in, in early stages. And you know we think of interiors as being the finishing, but a lot is in the planning. 